namin Diyos. Maraming salamat po sa buhay at lakas na aming tagnay. Sa liwanag ng kaisipan at sa pagkakataon maipagpatuloy ang pag-aaral ng mga kabataan. Gabay mo po ang bawat isa sa amin. Ano man ang bahagi na nagdagampanan na huwag maging maayos at matagumpay ang pagtuturo at pag-aaral na aming gagawin sa araw na ito. Patawarin mo po kami sa aming mga pagkulang at pagkakasala. At sa aming paggawa, ikaw po ang aming makasala. Amen. Hello there, Grade 11 Valenzuelanas! First of all, I want to congratulate you on coming this far. Tap your shoulder and say, hey, job well done. I am Miss Patty Medlenkov. We were together in Lesson 1, and now we have reached Lesson 8, which is our last discussion in Practical Research 1 for Part 4. Yes, vacation time is just around the corner. Exciting, right? So, are you ready for our last lesson? Give me a heart emoji if you are now ready. Thank you for those lovely hearts. Let's do this. The most essential learning competencies for week 8 lesson are the following. At the end of the lesson, you class should be able to learn how to formulate recommendations based on conclusions and these references. But before that, let us check if you can still recall our previous lesson about drawing conclusions from patterns and themes. The direction is type C if the statement shows characteristics of conclusion and type X if the statement does not. Give me a thumb up if you understand the instructions. Great! Here we go. First, conclusions should be formulated concisely, yet convey all necessary information from the result of the study. Is it C or X? Type your answers in your comment section below. Okay, yes! The correct answer is C. The statement shows a characteristic of a research conclusion. It should be concise but complete. Next, conclusions must contain numerals to make them look organized. Hmm, C or X? The answer is X. Conclusions should not contain any numeral because numerals generally limit the forceful effect of impact and scope of generalization. Number three, it is okay to show hints of doubts when writing a conclusion. Hmm, is it really okay? C or X? Again, the answer is X. Conclusions should be worded as if they are 100% true and correct. It must be firm in its validity and reliability. For the fourth one, conclusions point out what was actually learned from the inquiry. C or X, type your answers. C for correct. Conclusions should be drawn directly from the findings of the study. And for the last one, number five, conclusions should appropriately answer the specific questions raised under the statement of the problem. C or X? Yes, it's letter C. Every reaction or every research question class from the research problem must be answered in the conclusion. By doing this, you will achieve the objectives of your inquiry. Thank you for your participation, class. I hope that you have now set your minds to gain more learnings from today's lesson.
Okay, for our last lesson, we will discuss formulating recommendations and referencing. Are you ready to listen? Okay, when do we often hear the word recommendation? Hmm, best movie, best color foods, most food shows. Why are they recommended by people? There must be a reasonable explanation based on people's experiences and perspectives. The same goes with formulating research recommendations. There must be sufficient basis before we come up with these suggestions. In research, where do we base our recommendations? We had an activity about that this a while ago. Correct class. We formulate recommendations based on the research conclusions. Now, let us know more about research recommendations. According to Casella and Cuevas in 2010, recommendations are suggestions for solution, improvement, revision, validating of existing practices, and for future or additional research on issues about daily life. They should be specific, realistic, and achievable. They can identify areas which need further research, which can be replicated, or which can be validated. These are appeals to people or entities concerned to solve or help solve the problems discovered in the inquiry. These are the activities that the readers can possibly do to extend, modify, or replicate, and validate the findings of one's research work. Regardless of how thorough your study was, more research will always be needed to shed more light on the research issue, especially if there is a need to generalize the findings beyond the study's limits. That's why we need to formulate recommendations. The following should be the characteristics of recommendation. First, they should aim to solve or help solve problems discovered in the investigation. For example, in your research conclusion, it was found out that the primary cause of a student's stress is school-related activities or tasks. Then, your recommendation would be to reconsider and minimize the student's tasks in the school. Whatever the problem is discovered from the research findings and conclusions, the action needed to address those problems will be written in the recommendation. Let's proceed to the next one. Number two, no recommendation should be made for a problem or anything for that matter that has not been discovered or discussed in the study. It should always be aligned with its scope and limitation. Recommendations for things not discussed in the study are irrelevant. For number three, there may also be recommendations for the continuance of good practice or system or even recommendations for its improvement. This is to ensure a continuous benefit is accorded to the universe involved. For the fourth characteristic, recommendations should aim for the ideals, but they must be feasible, practical, and attainable. Since this is practical research, our recommendation should be always doable, realistic, and it is useless to recommend the impossible, right? For the last one class, your recommendation should always be logical and valid. For example, if the problem is the lack of facilities, it is only logical to recommend the acquisition of lacking facilities. For the number six, they should address to the persons, entities, agencies, or offices 
who or which are able to implement that. For example, class, if your research is about emotional support for learners, you should address to the parents, teachers, guidance counselor, and other person concerned. Lastly, for number seven, there should be a recommendation for further research on the same topic in order or in other places to verify, amplify, or negate the findings of the study. This is necessary so that if the findings are the same, generalizations of wider application can be formulated. Here is an example of a research recommendation. I hope that I made myself clear about the characteristics of recommendation. Are you still with me, class? Give me a thumbs up if you do. All right, let's continue with our discussion. At the end of any research work, a page must be provided to list down the references used during the research writing. Researchers need to acknowledge all the sources with their complete and correct information and format. That's why we need to learn referencing. Referencing class is the consistent method of acknowledging another person's ideas that you have used in your own writing. During our quarter four lesson one, under the review of related literature, we discuss referencing styles. Here are some of the commonly used referencing styles in research. First, we have APA, American Psychological Association, MLA, or Modern Language Association, Harvard, Chicago, and Caribbean referencing styles. The most commonly used format here in our country is the APA referencing style. Here is an example. It starts with the author. Note, list each author's last name and initial as author. Example, Williams M, Real A, or so on. And do not forget to use an ampersand before the final author's name. Next is the year when the literature is published. Third, write the title of the article. Note, for works that are part of readable example articles, chapter, use sentence case. Only the first word of the title and the subtitle and proper nouns are capitalized. Fourth, write the title of the journal. Note again, I italicize and capitalize each word in the journal. Fifth is the volume. Note, I italicize the journal volume. If there is no issue, include a comma before the page range. Six, the issue. Note. If there is an issue number in addition to a volume number, include it in a parenthesis. Number seven is the page range. And for the last one, write the DOI or the digital object identifier, if only available. And here is what the references list page looks like. And that concludes our lesson eight. Let's check if we achieve our lesson objectives for today. Type the word achieve if we did. Did we formulate recommendations based on the conclusion? Achieve, yes, we did. Did we discuss the referencing style and uh, discuss how to list down references? Great! Yes, we also did. Now, let us have a short activity to check your comprehension of our lesson. Analyze each statement very carefully. Type C if the statement is an example of conclusion 
or R if it is an example of recommendation. Are you ready, class? Okay, number one. This means that if teachers and concerned parties offer teaching methods and feedback and create an atmosphere that encourages knowledge exchange in schools, learners' quality will be raised to standard. Is it C or R? The correct answer is letter C. Okay, I hope you get it right, class. Number two, it is proposed that students should be given enough activities to perform for them to fully understand the subject matter. Is it C or R? Okay, the correct answer is R. Number three, it is understood that distance learning brings some difficulties not only to the students but to the teachers as well. Is it C or R? Yes, the correct answer is letter C. It is an example of conclusion. Number four. Since online class needs an internet connection, students with financial problem may get lower attendance. Is it C or R? Yes, the correct answer is letter C. For the last one class, online educational tutorials for teachers and students are advised for further learning the proper usage of social media platforms in education. Is it C or R? The correct answer is letter R. Very good class. Great job. Congratulations on reaching the end of our lesson. I hope that you have learned well and developed a good perspective about research. Again, this has been your week 8 Valenzuela live streaming teacher, Miss Patty Madden Cup. And I want to leave you one of my favorite Bible verses from Proverbs 16, verse 3. It says, commit to the Lord whatever you do and your plans will succeed. Thank you for listening. God bless you, class, and goodbye.